Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Football New South Wales coverage of the 2023 Futsal Premier League Open Men's Grand Final between Eastern Suburbs Sokoa and Mountain Magic. Eric Subihana on the mic here from Football New South Wales headquarters, Valentine Sports Park, of course, and we're set for an absolutely thrilling game. And James Reed getting ready to kick off. Well, for Mountain Magic, I can see Vasos Kantambis is there, starting goalkeeper. Also, we have Jamie Dibb. Jordan Guerrero, Corby Fowler, and I think Christopher Barbera to round out their starting five. As James Reed plays the ball, intercepted. And now Jamie Deere forced backwards, and there's the back pass. They said they had the best attack in the division. 79 goals in the 14 game regular season, and another three in yesterday's semi final win. So 82 goals in 15 games. That's a lot <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, but it's Akoa on the attack. And he's Reed with a shot, and Katambis bats it up in the air, and no second chance for Harkoa. And Jordan Guerrero, Magic captain, has scored 18 times in the 2023 season. Lynch. And Lynch outnumbered Guerrero. A big battle right in front of us. We've got the perfect view. As now it's Emmanuel Janikas across the face of goal. And Jonathan Lynch was never going to catch up to that one. Oh, I was actually at Sydney Olympic Park to watch Harkoa's game. Yesterday is Felix, by the way. The Harkoa keeper who made a number of good saves. And Mascot had the best defense in the league going into that one. So a great effort by Harkoa to put four goals past him. Now, here's Lynch. Low shot. Don't think it's quite what contact he wanted. Katambis with the save off the boot and out for a kick in. Dib, eyes up, looks for Guerrero. There's a familiar combination given to Rara for anyone who's seen Mountain Magic men's team as Lynch with a block from Barbera. By the way, time. And we've run a bit behind schedule, but we hope you're enjoying our coverage here on Football New South Wales Socials. As Fowler, and yes, I don't know, there's a celebration. It suggests that Chris Barbera got the final touch, but Fowler did well to hold off a challenge, sent it across the circle, and Barbera was there for a tap-in. It didn't take long. For a team to draw first blood, and it has gone the way of the league's top scorers, Mountain Magic, their 83rd goal of the season. And with 16 minutes and 15 seconds left in the first half, it is Magic leading by a goal to nil. But expect that's going to be the first goal of many. I hope you. We hope you stay tuned. Thanks for your support, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. As surround the keeper from Lynch, Reeds available for a moment in the circle, but Magic defending well. Now, potential counter attack, and Colby Fowler has been pinged. And Samuel Janikas scored twice in yesterday's semi final. He's definitely got the eye for goal this weekend. <coughs> Hakola sitting off just for now. Is this Fowler? And Fowler, nice back heel. Here Guerrero, tight angle, and cannot get past keeper and defender. Quick throw from Felix. And Samuel Janikas wants the decision that he's not going to get. In yesterday's semi final against Mascot, the Premiers, but Hakola, a team with a lot of strength and character. As Adam Paulson loved that. And Hakola, very strong of character. And so they certainly won't let their heads drop. Of course, that's how they got to the big decider here. Guerrero. <clears throat> Dib. Under pressure from Paulson, who stole it. Adam Paulson puts it wide of the target. And Katambis stepped out well, closed down the angle, forcing the Kiwi to shoot wide. Done. Now Haddad forced backwards. Uh, up against two. Didn't get the decision. So now Samuel Janikas. And walks the tightrope. Couldn't pick out a teammate. Now. Cole dispossess Haddad again. Now. Perego. But now it's Haddad. And fakes the shot. Then he goes. Oh, oh I don't know if that was the shot or if it was the cleverly disguised pass for Jaden Dunn but whatever it was it was a close call and Magic nearly found a quick equaliser by the way just another clarification for people less familiar with the rules of this competition yes. each team gets one timeout per half 
As there's Emmanuel Janikas on the ball now, number 10. Good turn, and Janikas now at the goal. And Hakov equalized Jonathan Lynch with a big celebration. But the work of Emmanuel Janikas in the build up was sublime. Held up a defender, held off a defender, drew the keeper as well. And had the composure to play the pass. Moving Jonathan Lynch with the open goal. Lynch made no mistake, and it is a 1 1 in the men's futsal Premier League grand final. As there's the Haddad back heel, Jaden Dunn. Great save from Felic. Done. Plenty of fine work filming throughout the winter season and also helping us out the conclusion for the futsal campaign in the middle of summer. Paulson, drop of the shoulder and beats another challenge. Adam Paulson and it's pushed wide by Katambis. James Reed back on for Hako as well. Janikas, it's deflected off the crossbar and Dib, almost the unfortunate party, almost scored an own goal. But the deflection falls Magic's way. The score stays at 1-1. By the way, I risk me to not mention the two coaches who have done a fine job to lead the teams to this point. As Emmanuel Janikes keeps it in. Here's James Reed. Sorry. Here's James Reed. It's safe. By the way, the two coaches. Hakawa coached by Steve Janikes. And Mount Magic coached by Brett Hewitt, the former futsal route. So Samuel Janikis was, well, he'll be the next man on, but number 66 for Hakoa, Fabio Vieira Fio on the court again. Nice first touch, positive first touch from James Reed and the shot that flashes across the face of goal. 1-2 there, and Emmanuel Janikis who was looking pretty toey there. But Kartambas has done just enough. Dib across the court Guerrero but that's intercepted by Samuel Janikis and then he overcooks it very slightly Patambas takes over it's Magic stepping off just for now Paulson considers his options back to Emmanuel Janikis now Perego quick feet and now Emmanuel Janikis running down the touchline he's won the free kick Possibly Paulson, but more likely to be Perego. No, Perego runs over. It's Paulson. Wins the corner. Now, back to Paulson. And he goes through the crowd. Good save from Katambis. And Dib just goes for safety. Yeah. Jet McHugh Shaw, number 17. His first action uh, for Magic in this game. Barbera. This could be intercepted by Lynch. And Lynch has been called for a foul. Eric Shibihano here on the mic, live from the Valentine Sports Park for the Men's Futsal Premier League Grand Final. Barbera with a left foot strike, goes across the face of goal. Low, Felic appeared to have the angles covered. Lynch now. And Lynch back to Paulson. And Paulson running all the way across the court. He's Kobe New. He's up against three players. So Barbera needs to head it away. And Paulson, New keeps, sorry, keeps it alive. And that's Paulson sending a shot wide of the target. By the way, if you've just joined us, it is one all between Magic and Hakoa. In the Futsal Premier League Grand Final. Magic opened the scoring through Christopher Barbera. Hakoa equalized via Jonathan Lynch. Now Fowler holds off Paulson. He's outnumbered though, even so. Fowler putting in enough of an effort to win the corner kick. It's Samuel Janikas taking no chances, clearing it behind. Three minutes and 37 seconds left. And a shot from McHugh Short takes the deflection. And despite his body weight going the wrong way, that's an excellent save from Felic. And that's resulted in the turnover. Emmanuel Janikas. And almost, almost... Got past the dad there. It's the net behind the half dollar goal. And these nets surrounding the court certainly getting a workout today. Noel Felich's palms also getting a workout. But the half dollar keeper's got the angles right there. Okay. Guerrero from way out. Good save. 
Bailich does well. Reed pressed by two. Now, that's a nice move. And Lynch almost got the touch. 32 seconds left. Alex Blismas. Blismas, and it's parried, but parried wide. In fact, it stayed in play. Now pass off target. As Guerrero spins away from Samuel Janikas, but not Reed. And Reed leading the counterattack. Emmanuel Janikas back to Reed. Guerrero with the challenge. Now, here's Robson. Jamie Dibbs streaming through the middle. Good defending from Perego. Reed, back the other way we go. And Reed, it's loose, and Blismas sends it away. And that is the end of a very, very nice opening period of futsal, especially for the neutral. It's one all as the teams head into the dressing sheds between Mountain Magic and Eastern Suburbs Hakoa in the Men's Futsal Premier League Grand Final for 2023. Chris Barbera scoring for Magic, Jonathan Lynch scoring for Hakoa. This is Eric Subihano on the mic, live from Foot Valentine Sports Park in Glenwood. We'll take a short break and then we'll be back for the second half. For Magic, looks like they're five to start the second half. Number five, Corby Fowler. Number nine, Chris Barbera. Number 18, Jamie Dibb. And number seven, Jordan Guerrero. With number 21, Vasos Kakambis in goal. Uh, Fahakoa in goal. It's number one, Noah Felic. And looks to be number 10, Emmanuel Janikes. Number four, James Reed. Number 15, Jonathan Lynch. And I think number five, Cesar Perego. That's the five for Hakoa. Now, Barbero with a nice touch around the corner, and Fowler, well, these two almost getting each other's way, but Fowler, good technique there. And they nearly create a chance, but there's the clearance there to end that Magic attack. Guerrero runs past the ball. Magic staying patient. Now Barbera gets past Reed, and he goes from way out. Did that take a save from Felix? Yes, it did. Paulson uh, putting the pressure on, but Guerrero gets past him with the one two. And Guerrero, he goes for goal. And Fabio with the block. And you can tell. And Guerrero. Everyone back in defense for Hakoa. Done. Now Guerrero. Fowler, quick feet, hits the deck. And what's the decision? The decision is a free kick right on the edge of the circle. That. And he's going to blast it. You suspect. Here's Anthony Haddad. Blocked. Blocked by Felic. Celebrates the save. Bit of a fist pump. Guerrero back to Dib. Haddad drops the shoulder. Could be a chance. Good save from Felic. And that's going to hit the net at halfway. Uh, Magic once again. Trying to figure out the, this puzzle that is Hakola's defense. Been made to work for their chances. Blismas, nice pass to Dunn. Haddad gets it out of his feet brilliantly. And he wants a touch. Is, is he going to get it? I think that's the decision, yes. So Haddad got the quick shot away. And you can see why he's the league's top scorer. He play like that. Haddad couldn't bounce it back to Dunn. So now he's Lynch. Lynch skips past the challenge. And Lynch, Samuel Janikas now. Fascinating this stuff as the team's taken in turns to Breaking those defensive structure. Kirby New on a bit under pressure. Decent pass to Reed. Better than decent. And Reed secures the ball. So now Hakol has turned to attack. And so far, at least, although there's still time for plenty of goals. In fact, there you go. Perfect example of being able to sub while the ball's in play. The play with the ball just saying, My turn to decide it's his turn to have a rest. Just dribbles to the sideline and gets replaced. Now, Samuel Janikas past the tackle. He scores! Samuel Janikas. He's done it again. That is a brilliant goal. The acceleration was brilliant. Too fast for the defense. And the finish was absolutely perfect. Hakoa have come from behind to take the lead. And it is Samuel Janikas' eighth goal of the season. Absolutely sensational work from Hakoa's number nine. And with 11 and a half minutes left to go. It is Hakoa leading Mount Magic by two goals to one. Fabio 
And passes link up, so Paulson needs to be strong here. Loose ball falls to Bakopoulos. And now, chance maybe. It's Connor Hewitt. Now, that's a... I think the first tackle on Hewitt is the one that's going to be called as the foul. Two and one in the wall. And low shot. Oh, there it is, Jamie Dib. He disguised it brilliantly, did Jordan Guerrero. It was a pass instead. Jamie Dib converts from close range. And Mount Magic weren't behind for long. Oh, went out, and it's Magic Ball. Hewitt, ball down the line, keepers. Oh, Noah Felich off his line incredibly quickly. And a cute angle off the bar, and Connor Hewitt could convert from the follow up, but Jordan Guerrero from an almost impossible angle nearly gave Mount Magic a lead. It's building up nicely. Possibly to another grandstand finish, like what we saw in the women's game. The supporting run come. Paulson instead goes back to Emmanuel Janikos. That's the number 10 again. Nice chip ball. Good touch from Lynch. Here's Lynch, and he's put it over. Right. Nice play. And Akol waited for the right opportunity. So that was an excellent pass from Emmanuel Janikos. A pass worthy of the number 10 jersey. And Jonathan Lynch could touch off the chest as well. Let's put it just over. Of course, the Magic fans will say, good pressure from the keeper, Vasos Kartambis. He was off his line very quickly. Guerrero's been two, and Guerrero sends it just wide, but almost, the Mountain Magic captain almost made something out of very little there. And you don't get much of a time to take a breather, that's for sure. Bakopoulos and Bakopoulos shot from the touchline easy save Lynch running all the way across the court trying to drag defenders out of position Paulson here's Paulson and that's a foul what will he do from this free kick across to Emmanuel Janikas and Janikas oh, ooh, almost wrong footed. Almost wrong footed. Katambas, bit of disguise on the shot. And then safety first from Felic to his opposite number. Bakopoulos, it's opened up for a brief moment. He sends a shot into the wall. And it's going to be a yellow card for, I think, for Emmanuel Janikas. He's left something in late. Oh, he's left something late there in Bakopoulos. Brett here with the chance to tell them exactly what he, what he wants to be done here. Disguised to uh, Guerrero and then Hakoa stand firm and he just got to be out quickly. Now Haddad thought about uh, turning to face the defense instead goes backwards. Now the forward impetus coming from Guerrero. It's a foul from Jonathan Lynch. That's the fifth foul. So, in a similar position. And what will Jet McHugh-Shaw do here? Goes for goal to the near post. Felix saves. Not often you see in futsal, the keeper calling for a ball in the air and catching it. It's clean work now. Harkova's turn to build that from the back. That's a nice pass. Samuel Janikas using his speed. He's got his foot a little bit under the under the ball. Adam Paulson in seven, number 71 back on the court now. Reed, nice touch on the pass. Nice, nice touch off the chest there from Samuel Janikas. But now Guerrero with two options to his left. Guerrero, nice move. Got the eyes up. Here's Guerrero. And he sent it way across the face of goal. He had a player coming in at the back post as well. Now, great turn for Guerrero, chance, and a save from Felic, loops up, and from the Hakol perspective, it's for temporary safety, but emphasis on the temporary there, once again, pulling the strings for the team in green.
The shot, and that definitely came through a crowd, so that's an excellent save. Loses out, so is Dib. A couple of options to Robson. Here's Robson, and Dib can't play it back to Robson. Now Adam Paulson should keep this in, and all four Hakol plays the forward. Here's Jonathan Lynch, chance, he's put it just wide. So there you go, that's what Hakol are waiting for. In terms of restricting the space, but of course they are on five fouls. The next one will be a 10 meter penalty, but here's a Hakol attack. Guerrero sliding tackle up in a flash and leading the attack. Guerrero, pass reads. Can he keep it in? He does. It's a chance. What a tackle. Not sure who that was, but it's probably a goal saving tackle. Does Hakol go back the other way? Here's Reed. Shoots. And he did blocks. Extra time has been the theme of the day. Four games previous, four grand finals previous to this going to extra time. Will we see a fifth? Now, Lynch pays it. It's off the post. Off the post from Samuel Janikas. Couldn't double his tally for today. What a run from Lynch. He's took them all on. The reverse pass as well. Samuel Janikas minim- millimeters away from giving Hakola a 3-2 lead. 78 seconds to go. Haddad turns and scores! Anthony Haddad with yet another goal. That's 24 for the season. He got the room that he's been waiting for the entire game. And the shot was unerring. Low past the keeper. Nothing he could do about that. It is Mount Magic 3, Eastern Suburbs Hakoa 2. With a minute and 15 seconds left to play. And Magic possibly looking for the turnover and the goal to seal this. Now Paulson can't hold it up. Bapokla is going for goal. He's hit the big net behind the goal. Trajectory on the ball. That might have gone over in any case. We'll never know. Paulson again. Magic's job. Of course, they're outnumbered now. Lynch shoots. Parried. Loose ball. Fourth to Dunn. And Jaden Dunn, has he scored? No, he has not. Agony for the Magic fans behind the net. They thought it was going in. Now, 13 seconds to go. It's got to be quick, whatever it is. Great dummy. Janikas, big chance. Goal! Samuel Janikas, he scored again. And it looks like we're going to extra time. What a brilliant finish. He kept his cool exactly when he needed to, and he scored with 9.1 seconds left on the clock. It's a grand final double for Samuel Janikas, just like the double he scored yesterday. What a brilliant finish. And the patience has paid off for Harkoa. That's what they tell you. 75 seconds is a long time in futsal. It was long enough for Harkoa to find the equalizer. Jet McHugh Shaw, it's not much time left. Yep, this one's going to extra time. So, Justin Smith, your feeling was right. We're going to need six more minutes of futsal to find a winner in the 2023 Futsal Premier League Men's Grand Final. It is three all at the end of regulation between Eastern Suburbs Harkoa and Mountain Magic. We're back on the way for the first period of three minutes of extra time. Of course, just a reminder, as Barbera is on the move, so is Fowler for Magic. It was Fowler. Fowler back to Guerrero. Reminder, the foul count carries over from the second half. Hakoa still on five fouls, Magic still on four. Next Hakoa foul is a 10-meter penalty. Now... Good touch from Dib, and Dib parried up and behind by Felic. Yes, as it was from much of the second half. Akoa making Magic think about how to approach this. Now there's Guerrero, no back with on that. I think it was a left foot toe poke, and it was saved by Felic. So foul, a good target play there to set up the chance for his captain. A minute and 39 seconds left in the first half of Extra Time. By the way, this is Eric Sabihana. Thanks for joining us on Football News FL Socials. We really hope you're enjoying this game, because I certainly am. Drop of the shoulder from Guerrero. Into the box, and there's the goal. The goal from Christopher Barbera. And the man that opened the scoring today has now scored in Extra Time. It's Eastern Suburbs, Sakoa 3, Mountain Magic 4. Another assist for Guerrero. In fact, it's off Hakoa. So Fowler with a shot. He's hit the crossbar. So close to doubling Magic's lead. And Hakoa survived. 
21 seconds left in this period of extra time. Throw down the line. Emmanuel Janikas. And, well, this could be a problem. And it's going to be a second yellow card for Jamie Dibb. That means reds. 16 and a half seconds left. And it'll be a power play, in a sense, for Hakold with only four players. But first, it's through the legs, and they won't need it because Emmanuel Janikas has made it for all. He played the psychological game to perfection there. Sends it through the keeper's legs. And Hakoa are level once again. Their third equaliser of this grand final. It's 4-4. And of course, Magic immediately back to the full complement of players. Soros Fowler keeps it in. Still time for one more chance. Six seconds to go. And Emmanuel Janikas has... Just dribbled it just out of play, I think. Three seconds left in the first half of extra time. For this mass, it's blocked, and that should be that. There's the buff. There's the hooter. Haven't given up. They're stuck to the plan. And the plan has put him in this position to win another men's Premier League futsal grand final. It's Guerrero, McHugh Shaw, Dunn, and Haddad. And Katambis on the court for Magic as we start the second period of extra time for Hakoa Felic, Cesar Perego, Emmanuel Janikas, Kobe New, and Jonathan Lynch. <coughs> McHugh Shaw. Um, could his speed be something that unlocks things for Hakoa? Jaden Dunn in the position at the far post. Her dad's. And oh, a bit of a breakdown in communication there. So Paulson with room to run. Paulson goes right. And leaves play on the floor. Adam Paulson. Oh, he slipped at the vital moment. And Guerrero trying to take it back the other way. Clean as a whistle from Lynch. Needed, especially when you're on five fouls. Her dad's looking for Guerrero. Might roll and shoot. Now the player off well, shot goes wide. Now Samuel Janikas on a hat-trick, of course. He lunges. Now it's always going to be difficult to score from there. 57 seconds left. Paulson, options either side. Samuel Janikas, little toe poke. And Paulson, still Paulson. Now her dad could be through on goal here. he has been sent a bit wide, Paulson defending. Playing as a whistle. It's Hakoa ball, so people have to rush back now. Samuel Janikas. Another going on another run. Great ball. His Lynch across the circle. Couldn't find the teammate for a tap in. Lynch again. Emmanuel Janikas. And it's wide with 24 seconds left. Magic might try to ensure that it's one last chance that goes to game. Burst of speed from Dunn. The two number fours going at it. Tackle from Reed. Maybe chance for Hako with 10 seconds to go. McHugh Shaw tackles. Dunn. Now McHugh Shaw. McHugh Shaw. Good save. It doesn't break for Fowler. There's 3.3 seconds to go. So one pass and a shot, you would think. Guerrero. Guerrero cuts inside. Here he is. Guerrero blocked. And that will be that. We're going to have a penalty shootout beside the 2023 Open Men's Futsal Premier League champion. These two teams could not be split after 40 minutes of futsal plus extra time. And now, the ultimate test of nerve to decide this year's champion. So Guerrero against Felic. Here we go. Saved! Saved by Felic. He went the right way. And the first advantage to Hakoa in the shootout. James Reed, he's the whistle and shoots, and it's, it's, it's the rule. It's gone in. Well, how unlucky can you be? Vasos Kartambis got his hands to it. It came off the crossbar, off his body, and rolled in. So Hakoa leading 1 0 in the shootout. Take Magic's second kick. Top bins it. Totally unsavable. Magic are on the board in the shootout. One all from a little bit closer. 
Long run up. Here we go. And it's saved. It stays at one all in the shootout. Kartambis comes up big. If he converts. But still a chance to find the back of the net for the third time this game. Here's Barbero. And same corner that Haddad hit. Another unsavable one. So magic. It's Fabio, and sends the keeper the wrong way. Excellent spot kick. And Fowler, again, a third consecutive penalty into the top right-hand corner as Magic see it. Fowler's done here. And it's in. Just about... Katambis tried to make himself as big as possible, but it has gone in. Now it is effectively sudden death. And Jaden Dunn is up. It's saved by Felic. Wasn't fooled by the stutter step. It's a big celebration. Adam Paulson to win it for Eastern Suburbs Harkoa. And Paulson, it's saved. So we're going to sudden death officially now. Robson, Aparecido, De Souza. Saved again. Brilliant stuff from Noah Felic. His third save of the shootout, so it's another chance for Hako to win it through Jonathan Lynch. There's Lynch, he scored Hako's first goal here. Can he win it? He does! Jonathan Lynch! has given Eastern Summer of Sokoa the 2023 Open Men's Futsal Premier League Championship in the most dramatic fashion. The penalty shootout went to sudden death and the man who scored Hakoa's first goal of this game has finished it. Hakoa going to be lifting the trophy in a few minutes' time. A huge celebration. The trophy's going back to the Eastern Suburbs. What a dramatic way to end the season. And what a dramatic way to end a season that has brought the drama every single week. How do we recap this? Well, let's start from the start. It was Mountain Magic who opened the scoring through Christopher Barbera and that man Jonathan Lynch equalized. In the second half, Samuel Janikas gave Hako a lead. Jamie Dibb equalized within a minute. Anthony Dad thought he'd given Mountain Magic the win in the second to final minute of regulation time, but a last minute equalizer from Samuel Janikas took it to extra time. Christopher Barbera gave Mount Magic the lead in extra time. Emmanuel Janik has equalized a minute later. That's how he went to penalties. And how about that? Everyone, to me, everyone's a hero out there with the effort they put in. But Noah Felich, the Harkoa keeper with three saves in the shootout, and Jonathan Lynch keeping his nerve to convert the winning penalty. Eastern Suburbs Harkoa doing what they did in 2019, winning the Open Man's New South Wales Futsal Premier League Championship. Uh, just got to say a bunch of brief thank yous before we sign off. Finally, we sign off the coverage for all the football New South Wales seasons in 2023 as there's a big celebration right in front of us. The first person we have to thank, of course, Justin Smith, who's been very helpful when I've been researching this, and has done a great job covering Futsal Premier League, both men's and women's for the last two seasons. You can see his reports of both the Open Men's and the Open Women's Grand Final. They'll be up on the Football New South Wales Futsal Facebook page later this evening. But, of course, the one man we have to thank. Also, by the way, th thanks to Jaden Smith for once again doing an excellent job filming. And he's done a great job all year throughout our various competitions. But the one man we have to thank more than anyone else is Football New South Wales media manager, the man they call the Golden Greek, Mark Stavrilakis, for organizing everything and keeping us in check. I don't know how he does it. Thanks so much, Stav.